may not know us, we are Erin's sisters. I am her oldest sister, Kyle. I am her youngest sister, Jordan. And we would like to thank all of you for coming tonight. It absolutely looks beautiful in here. Erin looks stunning. Steven, obviously, always handsome. Hot. <laughs> Hot, as Nicolina would say. But we'd like to start off with saying that we've always described Erin as being our detailed and sentimental middle sister. She's always been the one to give a thoughtful card. I don't know why I'm proud. <laughs> Send a just because text message and a motivational comment on your social media page, even if she's met you five seconds. Erin has a very special gift of making you feel loved and her best friend within seconds of meeting her. She's been able to do this since a very young age. For example, I remember a time when Erin and I were walking home from the bus as kids with the other kids in the neighborhood. Erin was probably in the fifth grade. I think I was in the second grade. Um, I had been begging her the entire ride home, like, please play Polly Pockets with me. But she didn't want the other kids to hear me, because Erin, you know, was at that fifth grade, cool age, you know, she was like, I don't want the other kids to hear that. I kept begging her and begging her. Finally, when the other kids were not around, she whispered me and said, shh, I will play Polly Pockets with you. You stop asking me. <laughs> and she did. We went home, we played Polly Pockets all night, and she's just a dedicated sister like that. She's also that person that you can always count on, as her friends can attest to. She's been a maid of honor quite a few times. She's stepped up for absolutely every single one of her friends and family. And that includes me. Not only has she been by my side through absolutely everything, but even during the hardest times, especially when I was in fifth grade, <laughs> not the strongest reader in the family, <laughs> and we all needed accelerated reader points, so Aaron would sit in my room with me and read out loud every single story that was reminded of my reading. This is not meant to be sad. <laughs> she would read every single chapter book to me so that I got the most amount of points, and in between each chapter, she would stop and ask me comprehension questions to make sure that I would pass. <laughs> she always held me accountable to be the best person that I ever could be. And with that, we know that Erin is dedicated to her family and friends, and that includes following her heart for Stephen and moving 550 miles away to DC. <laughs> if anyone knows Aaron and Stephen's love story, you all know there was an instant connection between them, starting in the parking booths at Michigan State. Go green! Go green, baby! Go white! Since then, their love has stayed four cities, three states, and one district of Columbia with countless adventures to come. Jordan and I have the privilege of watching both of you grow as a couple, and we have never been happier for you. Steven, we are truly excited to finally welcome you into our family officially and call you our brother. So everyone, let's raise a toast to Aaron and Steven. <laughs> that she wasn't going to cry, so <laughs> who knows what we're in store for for mine too, so buckle up. Um, again, thank you Kyle and Jordan for your kind, eloquent words about Stephen and Aaron. Um, I do apologize to all of you in advance as I likely fumble my way through this speech for the next few minutes, so bear with me. Um, someone did tell me to help with the nerves that I should really just picture you all in your underwear. Um, looking around, I have to say that the pandemic really didn't do some of you any favors. <laughs> all right, now that we're all feeling nervous and uncomfortable, my name is Rob. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steven's older, slightly more handsome brother. I'm the person that taught him how to throw a curveball, hence my somewhat crooked nose. 
I'm also the one that when growing up taught Stephen what not to do by constantly getting busted by her mom and dad. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for joining our families on this special day, especially those of you that traveled out of state. I'd also like to thank my parents, Steve and Terry, as well as Cliff and Kim Novelli. Collectively, they did an amazing job pulling this entire event together. You guys can clap. I'd also like to thank Erin for her tireless efforts to make this, make this experience possible. If you weren't so willing to put up with my brother, none of us would be here right now. <laughs> and hold on, let's make sure to give Stephen credit where it is due. He did pick out the suspenders of all the groups. <laughs> On to the sappy stuff. Aaron, I know I've been hard on you at times in the past, playing the protective older brother card, but if you think about it, you have always sort of been a sister to me. Picking me up bright and early for our 7 a.m. work shifts in college, spending hours in that MSU minivan giving each other insight about the many things happening in our lives at that time, and most importantly, not judging each other when we needed to stop for emergency bathroom breaks. <laughs> To say that I'm excited to welcome you into the Nowicki family is an understatement, and I am so happy to say that I can officially say that I now have a sister. Aww. Bro. Bro, I am so proud of all of you that already, all that you have already accomplished in your life. Although you've been extremely successful in your professional life, finding your person is arguably your biggest achievement. It's right up there with the time I watched you strike out former Detroit Lions center Dominic Royola in wiffle ball, only to hit a dinger off of him the very next inning. <laughs> True story, by the way. <laughs> Although we fought at times growing up like brothers do, at the end of the day, you are my best friend and my rock. I'm so happy to see that you have found those same things in another individual that you get to spend the rest of your life with. And now, I'd like everyone to raise a glass. To Stephen and Aaron, may this next chapter that you're starting together bring happiness, love, and a plethora of new adventures. Yeah. 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 I'd just like to say quickly, welcome to everyone. It's a pleasure to have everyone here. Oh, God. I hope we get through it. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think as parents, we tend to gauge our kids' growth by the milestones they reach they've reached in their lives. I've done that my whole life. Sacraments, graduation, first dates, first jobs. But let me tell you, I think planning and having a wedding during this unprecedented time over the past year in our lives is a milestone upon milestones in my view. Yeah. 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 The amount of planning and plan B planning, even though I wasn't involved in it, I heard all the stories. It was a tremendous feat in the stressful planning and unwavering patience, in my view. I think Aaron and Steven, along with Terry and Kim, deserve a lot of credit in the fortitude and willingness to go with any turn the page. <laughs> Any curveball that was thrown their way, there were many, many, many subsections to the planning. 
This is very evident with the beautiful outcome, with their planning for the beautiful wedding ceremony that we witnessed this afternoon. It was gorgeous, in my view. <laughs> and this incredible venue. Look around you. Yeah. We're celebrating the D. <laughs> you guys did it. <laughs> it's time to relax. Enjoy the evening. Welcome to everyone in helping us celebrate this wonderful day on behalf of Aaron and Stephen. I'm not done. <laughs> this past winter, we had the opportunity to spend a week in uh, vacation in Florida with family. Aaron and Steven spent the work, the week, remotely working. That was a total eye opener for me. I'm not, I, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> and they try relaxing as much as possible. It was during this wonderful week, long week, that I observed the love and dedication Aaron and Stephen had for each other. I also noticed was the amount of patience that you had towards one another. That's been ongoing. As long as I've known you, you have an incredible amount of patience. You know the saying, patience is a virtue. I think this trait will serve you too well as you experience all life's curveballs that are in your future. And I hope you will never let this go and cherish this virtue. What, uh, I'm just gonna <laughs> for the rest of your lives. <laughs> In closing, what I'd like to say on this beautiful day, I think God is on your side. The sun's finally out after three terrific weeks in the D. <laughs> it's a ray of sunshine to add to this wonderful day. And a beacon of light to shine on you as you start your new life's journey. Thank you. I hope everyone has a great time. And can we have a, a tremendous applause for hearing the Stephen
introduce my uncle, Dwayne. Um, he is the priest, our celebrant today for our marriage, and he's going to give um, the prayer before it. Thank you, Aaron, and thank you, Stephen. She's right, we're all criers. <laughs> nice job, Cliff. thank you very much. I tried. <laughs> no, I did a good job, I did a good job. Awesome. Steven. Yes, sir. Yesterday at the rehearsal was the first day I saw you without a mask. You're a good looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Uh, look at how much they uh, 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 pulled together in terms of uh, coming together in the midst of all of this COVID and these difficult situations. They certainly did a great job and we were able to meet and go through all the marriage preparation and that was a wonderful thing. Uh, certainly, I want to give thanks to uh, all of you for uh, having uh, celebrated their wedding, not just at this hall, at the baguette plant, okay? But being in church, because that's what it's about. I always say to people who are celebrating their weddings, make the liturgy the centerpiece of your day and everything else will go beautifully. And that's what Aaron and Stephen did today, and I think everything went beautifully. Thank you very much. Yeah. God bless you. You are a beautiful couple. Thanks for being here Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just said, pray the amo, right? Let us pray, let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father in heaven, we ask you to bless this food and drink that we share around these tables. As you bless the wedding feast at Cana, so bless this wedding feast. And the people that gather here at Cana, your blessed mother, the Virgin Mary, call for an abundance of wine for everyone. May we celebrate with an abundance of joy, laughter, and gratitude for what you have given to us. May we one day sit at the banquet table in heaven, which lasts forever. Lord, we gather these thoughts together as we say, Bless us, O Lord, and these are gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mangare.